Hey scholars, today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. Scholars, we've been working on our R control words and we've been realizing that R's completely change our vowel sounds. So today we're gonna to be thinking about how R's also change long vowel sounds. Now guys, you know that usually when we have a silent E at the end of a word and we have a consonant, I mean, we have a consonant, vowel, consonant, silent E at the end, it usually makes the vowel sound, make the long sound. That's not true with R, so we have to take a look at that. And today we're gonna find that all of these spelling patterns are gonna make the same sound. We have d, air, dare. So this A-R-E says air, d, air. Let's try that with this word, st, air, stare. Let's try it with this word, air, fair. Now, scholars, we're gonna find that there's gonna be words today that we have to figure out the meaning of. So I just wanna tell you this kind of fair isn't like when we're playing a game and someone says, that's not fair. This kind of fair is like when you go to a carnival, that kind of fair. Okay, now let's look at another spelling, A, I R. Well, we know that word is air, so we'll put it here in the end and chop up this word. Air, hair, air, pear. Again, scholars, there's two different kind of pairs that you're going to see today. This is like a pair of shoes, like there's two that belong together. Ch air, chair. Let's look at this next spelling pattern. E A R. It still says air, b air, bear, like the animal. Air, pear. This one is like the fruit. Now let's look at our last spelling pattern for today. E R E. It's still gonna say air, w air, where, air, air, there. So scholars, our R's are very powerful letters in words. They change the sound of the vowels. So pay attention to that today and think about the words that you're using and what they mean. Scholars, this week we've been working on our action verbs and we know action verbs are things that we do. They are our actions. Today we're gonna to be focusing again on shades of meaning. So let's take a look at the work we'll be doing. Remember when we think of shades of meaning, we think about th words that are weaker, medium, and then stronger. So in today's activity, you're gonna be taking a look at a list of verbs, action words, and you're gonna be thinking which one's the weakest, which one's the medium, and which one's the strongest. So each group of words will be grouped in by color. So let's take a look at the first one, the first group, sip, gulp, swallow. Well, I think about those words and you know, I could take a sip of water. I just get a tiny bit, just enough to wet my lips. Sip is the weakest. Now I could take a swallow of water. That was a good amount. So that would be medium. And then a gulp though. I'm drinking a lot more for that. That's definitely the strongest. Now let's look at our second set of words. Walk, or excuse me, talk, whisper, yell. Which one's the weakest of those? I think when I'm whispering, that's the softest or weakest sound. Let's see, talk or yell. Well, I'm talking right now and that's medium, I would say. But if I'm yelling, I'm getting really loud. That's the strongest. All right, scholars, we're going to take a look. You're going to be looking at the rest of those words, and you're going to put them in order. Weak, medium, and strong. So you'll look at it. Banged, closed, slammed. Think about a door. If you banged it, you closed it, or you slammed it. Which is weak, which is medium, which is strong? Sleep snap and, and doze. 
which one is the weakest? Which one are you sleeping for just a little bit? Which one are you, which one's medium? And which one are, is strong? Like, adore, love. Think about things that you like. What would you say about them? Would you say that which one is weak, medium, or strong? And now when you're eating, you can think about these words, munch, nibble, and devour. Which one of those is weak, medium, and strong? All right, scholars, you're also going to be reading a story today. Remember, we're focusing on comprehension, so taking time to really think about what the story tells us before we answer questions. All right, have an awesome day of learning.